Okay, so as we're going in, it's just a quick note. This is all very old peeling paint, chip paint. So it's just a little paint and scrape, scrape and paint rather. Front door, same thing. You know, the paint's all checked where it's been on there for decades. All right, let's walk inside here. Check it out. So, first floor, living room, we got pocket doors here. You know, lots of peeling, lots of bubbling, probably some uh, moisture up top. So, you're in the plaster and you're in a very old uh, building. So, this would be something that would need to be. Probably the ceilings you probably just drywall over. So as you can see, you got actual holes in the plaster. Uh, the way to handle that, you just zip drywall over top of it. You don't even worry about trying to float that. The walls probably have years. You can see uh, paper, real common for people to paint over wallpaper on these, especially when they're rentals. Um, original windows, that's another costly expense because then you gotta, I don't see any, there's a vent right there. You got a couple of vents, but you got a window unit. That's telling me either the AC isn't central AC or if it is, it's not working very well. Nine foot ceiling, 10 foot ceilings actually on this one. You know the older windows, this is the kitchen. Dad has to be gutted, has to be completely torn out. Not sure if you can see very well from here on camera you got a little brick entryway big tree uh probably needs to come down it's a maple it's already split one half has come down at some point um and as you can see this fence this green fence is pretty much what your yard is it's concrete pad directly in the back looks like it swales towards the house not a good thing your electric lines are clear but again that's a big tree with a lot of dead limbs um I would budget to have that taken down, and that's going to be expensive. I got a second. Oh, here's how you get downstairs. Okay. And then you got to... Uh, this, so this is originally a two-family. So this, this is rebuilt in. This is framed out later. It's... A little strange, but basement, that's uh, the most important room in the house. Lots of pox, lots of uh, problems there in the, in the wall. Got a little bit of lighting. My Unfortunately, my lighting rig is down. Let's see if we can find some kind of uh, light here. Okay, it's very dark. See, my light doesn't show us very much. Let's hope it's clear because I can't see very well. Real common in St. Louis to see old water heaters. Water heaters last 40, 45, 50 years in St. Louis sometimes. Uh, so, you know, this won't be the oldest one that I've seen this week, probably. Uh, this is 2003. I've seen them as, back as, as far back as the 60s. The furnace. Never been replaced. That's an older one, man. That is that is old. I mean, look at that nameplate. That looks like it's off a of 57 Chevy. And there's no real way to uh, tell the age on an old one like this. It is gas. Shut off at the, the, sh the shut off valve here. So gas isn't on, of course. It is a concrete pour, and it looks like the walls are intact. Might just need to have some uh, dry lock paint on it. The wrapping on these pipes is going to be asbestos. There's water that comes in from the back door. You can't see this on camera, and I apologize for that. I don't have a bright enough light. The rear entry door, it's on a fuse box, so the fuse panel has to be replaced. And the, uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of work here. Stack's been jimmy rigged. It's about half PVC and about half cast coming out of the floor there. I don't see a floor drain, but 
Yep, right here is floor drain. You can't even really see it. I'm going to pause till I get upstairs. 